this Monday morning, man. Nice and a little cranky. Had some steak this morning. Yes, last night. <laughs> oh man. Uh, we were supposed to go to the suite after their wedding, but everybody was just too tired hanging out on the on the party bus. I guess that's what you can call it. But nonetheless, I was talking to uh, YSM Media yesterday before I was uh, early in the day and stuff. And he made he made a great point. And I told him I was gonna do this video. He said that it seemed like I why I don't like Al. Well, I don't like Al. All right. But one thing that I am, I am fair. I am fair. And I was on Aram years ago, you know. But a lot of people just really started coming around. A lot of people just start coming around and being new to boxing. I was on air on for uh, kicking out, uh, for kick getting by Al Heyman kicked off of HBO and then doing a whole bunch of fucking nothing. You know? And... <laughs> nah, he jumped out on his ass. He'd have, been, he'd have been mad as hell. We had a dog jump out of a moving car once. He was a Bichon. That boy was like five bands, six bands, something like that for Blanco. Somebody ended up stealing them. Long story short, everybody in the family was hurt, bro. Feel like we all lost a son, man. Old Blanco was the best. You the best too. All right, man. We rolling. Knock out our early destination so we can chill later, Mr. Mason. So, um. But yeah, I said I was gonna speak on this. So a lot of people just think that I bash Al and then I support everybody else. But a lot of stuff that Al do is pretty much what everybody else do, you know. Well, you know, only real thing that 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 kind of like you can have a gripe with is saying, well, thank you, Al Heyman. If that's true, have a fighter say, thank you, Al Heyman. And you know, his taking the less than the 30 30 percent going rate and you know, taking giving money back for more control and power over their career. Now, when you look at Bob Arum, so like I said, a lot of y'all just not start really coming around boxing. I've been I've been saying this for years, even before I had my, my YouTube channel, I was doing uh on another channel, right? And one of the major things about it is people talk about the control, but you know, the intellectual property, the owning names, you probably owning logos you come up with. Now I'm gonna give y'all like an example of Bob and I'm gonna give y'all an example of 50 Cent and Ryan Martin to my best of my recollection. Um, now with 50 Cent, it, he had Ryan Martin he got a he got a he got a percentage. He he had Ryan Martin in a real 360 deal, you know. And you know when they split, he still got like a percentage of his uh, his endorsements. You know what I'm saying? He had he had him really in a 360 deal. And you can look it up since I don't have my computer, but I know the deal was so fucked up when they you know that he had a percentage of his his endorsement money. So think about that for a minute, right? And. Hold on. But uh you know, but continue carrying on. Bob Arum, you know, Nicholas Walters wanted more money to fight Lomachenko. Bob Arum set him out for a whole year, then gave him less money to fight Lomachenko a year later, got beat up by Lomachenko, never heard from Nicholas Walters again. So at the end of the day, they all pretty much got the same power. You feel what I'm saying? They they all pretty much control the board. You know, how many people you see get out of Bob Arum contract undefeated with a belt? Terrence Crawford negotiated that that, that next contract after the Jose Benavidez. Because you got to remember, too, remember Terrence Crawford was with Mattered Off Sports. And remember when a better call saw a fake-ass lawyer on YouTube was going around saying Terrence Crawford was getting sued for not paying Mattered Off Sports when, in actuality, Bob Arum and them was supposed to pay uh, a percentage of a percentage of hit uh, an equivalent of a percentage that's equivalent of his purse to matter off sports for you know basically taking on Terrence Crawford uh, taking on Terrence Crawford contract 
they was going around saying, well, you know, Terrence Crawford wasn't paying Matt at all sports. No. But it wasn't even coming out of his purse. It was the equivalent. So they believe in Terrence Crawford so much that they paid money out their pocket for him to fight on top rank. See what I'm saying? They paid money out their pocket for him to fight on top rank. So, like I said before, and that, I'm not even a lawyer. I ain't the most educated dude out here, but I can read and understand that language. I, I can read and understand that language. You know, and for somebody to say they a lawyer and they can't understand that language, your integrity is everything as a lawyer. You ain't got no integrity, then. You know what I'm saying? Folks will have a play date. He end up I to uh, make a scene. I to make an alternate route. So pick up everybody's. I'll come back. But um, but yeah, he's supposed to have. You know, that's supposed to go down. So they all got the power. You see, Bob Ram kept Mikey Garcia out for a whole year. I gotta roll that up, buddy. He kept Mikey Garcia out a whole year because Mikey Garcia didn't want to fight. You know, upper echelon competition for the flat fee of 350. That was his deal. They were like 350,000, no matter how bad or how good you fight. You know what? I kept fighting fucking bums too. That's like, you know, you're going to get paid $15 an hour regardless of how hard you bust your ass at work or, or how slow you bust your ass. At the end of the day, dude, if there's no hope of a raise or a promotion, I'm not about to bust my ass. I'm not about to bust my ass. being honest I'm not so of course you know everybody said well you know L ain't the only one ain't Bob Arum was refusing to make fights with other promoters but one thing about Bob Arum he do got some fights like Gamboa and Juan Ma Marquez that a lot of people wanted to see back in the day that he refused to, he refused to make you know, that he refused to make, but them few far in between compared to Al Heyman. And that's what my gripe right back with Al Heyman is. You got the you got a whole roster of fights that you refuse to make. And then when you make some quality of fights, then we gotta dig in our pockets for 80 bucks and then you turn around and say, Well, see, I put on a, a half quality show and y'all didn't buy it. But you gotta understand a lot of us who grew who grew up watching box, as a matter of fact. A lot, of, a lot of people who, who watched boxing in the beginning of last decade, in the beginning of the decade before that, the 2000s, and I'm in the end of it, excuse me, the whole, the whole for the last 20-some years, right? We know what quality look like. You know what I'm saying? And we just not buying no bullshit. The fights that you putting on pay-per-view, a lot of them wouldn't even be a main event on HBO After Dark, bro. Let alone HBO Championship Box. A lot of them won't be a main event. You know, HBO just wasn't pushing through no bullshit fights. Even even at the, the late 2000s. When people could start saying the TV ratings start slipping. Because it wasn't no Trinidad and Oscar and Floyd was kind of like about to slide not too long after that. So it's the quality. It's the quality. It's like these kids paying for these these shoes and they don't have no quality. You paying a thousand dollars for some Balenciagas and, and it take fifty dollars to make them. You know what I'm saying? If you are gonna spend some money on some damn jeans or, or some leather pants, it's got to be the craftsmanship and the quality. I always preach that. If you gonna spend money on a car? You know you want you want durability. You want dependability. But like I said before, it's the it's the thing about it where he don't want to give nothing but bullshit fights on Saturday night. Even in, in some of the fights he put on pay per view, you know, and you know, and I was just thinking like, like bro, that's you know, people say, well, this is just what it is right now. I don't just take what it is right now, honestly. I just don't take what it is. 
Honestly. I got a certain standard, bro. You know, I got a certain standard. You know, just because he putting on that shit, man, come on. And what he living off of is names that was built up by Golden Boy and that was built on HBO. But the thing about it is Bob Arum, Bob Arum don't have the roster, bro. Al got the roster. Al, Bob don't. He need to lean on Eddie. And Eddie need to lean on Allen. And Bob need to lean on Al. He got the roster. Even though Loki is dwindling. He got the roster. He got the roster, bro. And you don't even want to give us quality, bro. Quality, you know, Showtime Championship boxing fight. What is Caleb Plant? What is Caleb Plant to you now? Why not sacrifice him to David Benavidez? I don't care what he or what he don't want to do. Jamal Charlo, they losing so much money on Jamal Charlo, which, you know what, I'm going to speak on that later. Remember I said that. Or, 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 Tuesday, or Tuesday. Remember I said that. Remember the name. Remember the name. So, they losing a tremendous amount of money. And that's what Espinosa and that's what C Viacom is telling them. Like, dude, like, hey, you got to give us some of the fights that we want. And if you if you got all that power and you can't make these dudes get in the ring with each other, and a lot of these dudes are asking for pay raises, you know what I'm saying? Well, the easy way to get a pay raise is to get in the ring with somebody, get in the ring with better competition. And if you don't want to do that, then Al Heyman as powerful as we think we is, and then these fighters ain't as smart as they think they, they is. Quite frankly. But yeah, Al Heyman ain't the only one doing that bullshit. They start hating on Al first. It really kind of started with well, it really kind of started with Andre Berto. That's what Bob got the hating on got Al Heyman for. It really started with Andre Berto, cause. He was getting so much money out of HBO for Andre Berto that Bob Arum started hating. And he went to HBO and told him, told them that you waste your time with Heyman. And then guess what? HBO cut his ass off not too soon, not too far after that, and only wanted to promote uh, Lomachenko. Now, also people tend to forget too that Terrence Crawford got caught up in the politics with that shit. He got caught up when when Bob Aaron was getting put off of HBO. They told Bob Aaron that we wasn't that we wasn't putting no money up, you know, for or putting you know I guess no money. They wasn't putting no money up for Victor Postal and Terrence Crawford. So you had to put that on pay per view. You had to put it on pay per view. So this ain't the first time Crawford been caught up in a war of politics. That fight with Victor Postal, everybody talk about that only did seventy thousand. That was because Bob Brown was getting kicked off HBO. And the only person they came, they wanted to the, the showcase was Lomachenko. Stop. That's the only play person they wanted to showcase. And Bob Brown was like, no, nah, we're going to keep him on ESPN. But before they dipped, it was, it was Terrence Crawford. Terrence Crawford and Victor Postal got caught up in that. And they said, well, just we ain't putting no money up. Throw it on pay-per-view. I'll put the money up. Oh, that's it, yo. So, I mean, this ain't the first time Terrence Crawford got caught up in some, in, in, in the bad, wrong, te wrong place, wrong time. It's not the first time. So, I mean, it is what it is, but yeah, they all the same. They all got their they power, and they, they all got their power in a certain way. They all walk away with the with the most money out of the event. Don't believe that shit, Floyd kicking. That might be the case. That one, that's not even the case in Floyd's situation. If Al Heyman paying him in increments, he still cashed checks from ten years ago. Yeah, Bob Arum is making a tremendous amount of. I mean, Al Heyman is making a tremendous amount of money off holding his money and re allegedly reinvesting his money. 
So if a dude gotta pay, if a dude paying you out, he make more, he, he the fucking boss. And nine times, nine point nine times out of ten, he make more money than you. So don't believe that shit, Floyd. Oh, I made 100, 300 million. He made 300, Al made four, five, six, seven hundred. At least 301. You gotta understand all that shit. Well, we put the power in the fighters' hand, yeah. But you still, they still, they still making the most money off the event. If, if Al Heyman going some OT, don't want to show the books to Terrence Crawford, how many other promoters and managers not show, or event, uh, 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 event creators is not showing the books? Think about that for a minute. How many other people? They saying, well, the gate did this, and this how much you, and they just taking what they giving. The boxers ain't the smartest businessmen in the world. Terrence Crawford is smart to ask to see the books. So imagine they get they, they need to get their 3% off the gate and the 3% off pay-per-view, and they say, well, it was reported that it did a million. They turn around and say, well, it only did 500, and they said the gate did 20, it only did 10, so this is what we're going to give you. And they's like, all right. I take it, really, and really, your money, really, the shit did a million, the gate did 20, and they shortchanged you. I guarantee you, if they start opening up some of these books, these boxers will be suing the shit out of these promoters, and these dudes will be going to file them for bankruptcy. They taking what they giving, especially when it comes to that quote-unquote back-end money and gate money. And then, that's the last thing I want to get to, too. I'm, I told y'all, remember the Jamal Charlo name, right? I don't know what he's talking about, bro. I guess he went to the window. But remember, remember that name, right? And I'm not going to say the rest of that name. I'm just going to just remember that name. You know, um, you remember how they used to talk about how Bob Arum used to lend Manny Pacquiao money with high interest on there? Al Heyman do the same thing. He does the same thing. He does the same thing. He does the same exact thing. He does the same exact thing. And a lot, and then he, one of the fighters that he lent money to, he down so bad that, you know, Al Hammy put so much interest on his money that he don't even get his fucking fight checks. They go right to Al. And it's a, it's a few of them. It's a few fighters like that. You gotta understand, they said, well, they made $2 million. They said, well, they made $2 million. Boy, private. They said he made $2 million. You gotta understand, Uncle Sam gotta get it. The state they fighting with got to get it. Their home state probably got to get a piece of it. They got to pay trainers. They got to pay trainers and everybody else. Come on. And the worst thing you can go do is buy some goddamn jewelry, especially if it ain't pure gold. Bust down watches devalue. They devalue the, uh, the watch. But yeah, they both they both do the same thing. They both do the same thing. I should left him. They both do the same thing. They both all it's the same thing, bro. That's why a lot of people say Al Heyman is really an in, 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 uh He's really in a a promoter. That's why they say that he really a promoter. Does he do the same tricks? He's just smart enough to have a loophole. And we was talking about yesterday. Is it more? Is it more? Is he getting more of the backlash because he black? And at the end of the day, it's always gonna be amplified when you. It's always gonna be amplified when you black. 
But I don't think that's what it is. I think, per se, the major thing about it is he the top dog in boxing right now. So when you the top dog in boxing right now, you gonna, you gonna, you gonna, you know, they gonna take shots at the king. When you not making quality fights and you putting the 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 the, the quality that you putting on pay per view, you know what I'm saying? The quality that you putting on regular TV, you know what I'm saying? It's trash. So of course you're gonna open yourself up to criticism. That's just what it is. That's just what it is. So he, he making this video harder. Where well, you going, your seatbelt, brother? Yeah, you got a seatbelt. Yeah, I got two. But nonetheless, thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications, increase your chance to get notifications, go live, drop a video. Financially, you want to support the channel, cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313, Venmo, CJ Good 313, PayPal link in the description. Hit the link tree, find me on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcast, Google Podcast. Oh, now my information in the link tree is the first link in the description. Peace.